And now let's shift focus over to Hong Kong. The territory has been rocked by its biggest political crisis in decades in the past two months. Thousands have thronged to the streets, not only in the downtown business districts, but also the border regions, to protest the contentious extradition bill. If the sentiments of Hong Kong youth are anything to go by, these protests won't die out soon. Week after week, day after day, the protesters in Hong Kong are defying the local government and taking on the might of Chinese states. Reason? A sense of being let down by Beijing on the one state, two systems. The youth feel that the very autonomy of Hong Kong is under threat. Extradition bill is just one part of the crisis. Actually,我現在覺得可能很多人都會是 the protests in recent times have become more and more aggressive. The anger has been fueled by the recent incidents of violence against the protesters, which the youth claim is being done by mobs under the garb of police uniforms. Hong Kong law enforcement has come under fierce criticism from protesters for alleged use of excessive force, sparking controversy and polarizing the community. <laughs> Mo a survey conducted in December 2018 and published in January by the Chinese University of Hong Kong revealed the angst in the Hong Kong youth claiming 34% of adults immigrate if they had the chance to. And a majority of them are in the age group of 18 to 30, mostly well-educated. The wave of protests in recent weeks indicate that the number might have risen dramatically if another study was to be conducted. Here's the latest coming in from the United Kingdom. Protests continue to shadow Britain's pro-Brexit Prime Minister Boris Johnson. The Prime Minister was booed in Scotland. Johnson was in Edinburgh to meet Scotland's First Minister, Nicola Sturgeon. Protesters were seen flying flags of the European Union. They were chanting, Scotland voted, remain. A poll published last month found that a majority of Scotland would vote for independence from the UK in case Johnson becomes the Prime Minister. Scotland's friction with Johnson isn't new. Reports claim that when Johnson was the editor of The Spectator, he published a poem describing Scottish people as, and I quote, a verminous race who should be placed in ghettos and exterminated. The poem also described Scots as, quote unquote, tartan dwarves who were polluting the stock. More recently, he suggested that public money would be better spent in London than Scotland. Now the hotly competitive...